Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks, and this is another video about printing grid lines, and I still don't, I'm not 100% sure if he's going to print them or engrave them. He, I helped him, uh, or I think I helped him a little bit, he wanted to print grid lines like one inch, and he's, he wrote back to me and he said, he actually kind of figured it out, and he just used the grab paper tool, which is really cool, but there's a couple of problems, so we're going to build one. The other day we built one that was 12 by 12, so we're going to use the graph paper. And he thought it was pretty neat because you could make it the size of the page, you know, whatever you want, and then you could change the dimension. But we want, let's say we want 12 squares and 12 squares, and then we'll take the graph paper tool whoop, and holding down the control button to make it equal. Then when you do this, you need to make this 12 by 12. So lock your ratio and make this 12. Now each of your dots or each of your squares are a half inch big and it'll snap to that corner. But we were talking about making the lines not, um, you know, regular lines is like a, a grid mark. And I, I actually went out the pro, the shop to make sure I was right. If you're a, if you're a laser engraver, this is going to cut twice. Each line is going to cut twice. Is the age old problem because if we go to group and ungroup, each one of these squares is its own line. So you can see these two are double lines. Now, if you're cutting them out, that's going to cause you a problem because there's a lot of cutting. Uh, but if you're just marking it, it's still going to take a long time because it's actually going to, you know, cut one block, cut one block. Now, if he's printing it with a printer or even a laser engraver and you want the lines and we want them dotted, you go up here and you make them black and you make them other than a hairline. I'm on inches. I need points. And we'll make it. Let's make it one point so we can see it. This is only going to print one time because the the dots that are, let's uh, take that, the dots, the dashes are actually on top of the other one. It's not going to print it twice. So it's going to print it, well, you know what? In this particular case, they're not even on exactly on top of each other. So this is going to take a long time to print. Well, not really. It's still going to print that short line. Now, if he's printing it with a printer and not on wood like an engraver, it doesn't really matter. He just wanted lines to index something that, you know, one square inch equal to, equal to square foot and so on and so on. So you can use the graph paper tool. The only disadvantage is if you're going to cut it out, the laser is going to recognize that square and cut it out twice. If you're just marking it, you know, it's no big deal with the laser. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.